Oh, Lord. Let's see. What did I do with that? Good morning, everyone. Many of you have asked me to go live. I know one in particular, Angela Douglas, have been asking me to go live. So today is Wellness Wednesday. Aquarius Martin. Hello, good morning to you. How are you this morning? I'm going to get a few more people. Hey, everyone. Today is Wellness Wednesday. Y'all can talk back because I will talk back to you. Hello, Rodney. Okay. Anybody? Hey, Donna. I'm just looking for y'all to give me a little feedback right now. Today is Wellness Wednesday. And what I'm doing today is I'm basically checking on your psyche, which is your mental, your physical, your emotional. Yes, I am. Hey, good morning, Rodney. So tell me, how's everybody doing on today? How y'all doing? Doing this pandemic. Is everybody okay? Everybody good? Yes, good morning. Everybody's good? Well, let me let me tell you why the, my reason being for getting on here this morning. I know many people don't like to check on folks. And that's the reason why I created Fayana Live. So I can talk to you on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm always motivating and trying to encourage and inspire y'all to be the best that you can be. Right? Hey, Craig, good morning. How are you? Hey, Felicia. Girl, where have you been? It's been a minute. I thank God that you're still alive. Hey, Keith, how y'all doing this morning? This is just wellness checkup again. I was just trying to check on my people, making sure that you are actually doing well. Because, you know, we lie. You know, we tell people to men, I'm blessed and highly favored, knowing that you don't know whether you're going or coming. I'm just trying to make sure y'all are still doing well. How's your family? Good, Felicia. How's y'all family? Hey, Eric. Hey, Eric, I finally get a chance to say hello to you. What's going on, my brother? I'm just checking up on you. How you doing down there in Mississippi? Y'all gonna have to, come on, tell me where you at. Drop your location. Tell me exactly where y'all are. Well, anyway, let me tell y'all what happened on yesterday. I got a phone call at the shop. And um, majority of my videos, they go all over Louisiana. This woman called me. And she left me a message and she was like, I'm calling from New Orleans and, I, and her name is Patina. So hopefully she'll be on here. But anyway, she was like, Fayana, your videos have blessed me. And I was like, girl, thank you. She said, but I called you because I wanted you to pray for me. And I was like, what? Well, anyway, y'all, I got, I prayed for her, but you never know what a person is going through. And that's the purpose of me coming on here today. I just want to know that everybody is okay. If you're okay, you need to give me a thumbs up. If you're in a dark place, then we're going to have to talk. Because let me tell you something. There were many years that Fayana was in a very dark place. And I couldn't tell people, but I found out that two people later had been fasting for my mind and my emotions. I'm going to tell you, I thought that I was going to lose my mind. That's what I do. That's what I do, Keith. I pray for everyone. I pray for everyone. And because God has given me the gift of tongues, I got a constant communication with him, a one-on-one -on, -one on a daily basis. So I basically came on here not to just check on you, because that's what I do, but to encourage you to pray more. Those that do not know how to pray, let me tell you, it's real simple. It's what I'm doing with you right now. This is how you pray. You talk to God just like you talk to me. Just how I'm talking to you. You tell God when you upset. You tell God when you check somebody. You tell God when somebody checked you. You tell God about them co-workers. You tell God about your music. You Let me tell you, God wants to know about all of your business. He's already in your business, but he wants to know about your business. Stop doing things without considering God in all of your ways. Listen to me. 
If you don't put God in it, you're going to be doing it in your own strength. And this is the reason why you're always tired and you're fatigued and you're just you're suffering from mental anguish because you're trying to do it in your own strength. God wants to help you succeed in life. He said it in uh, the book of Deuteronomy. I posted the other day. God gives you not only the desires of your heart, which is in Proverbs, but he gives you the power to get wealth. And many of us have been struggling, trying to rob, well, we're robbing Peter to pay Paul, but we're struggling trying to figure out what is it that I'm supposed to be doing with my life. When the pandemic came, this was your opportunity to get back closer to God, to get to find out what it is that God had called you to do. You had so much time last year and he's still giving more time for you to get your act together because he wants to bless you. But if you never consider him, if you never ask him, if you never petition him, if you never go to him, how can he help you? And the crazy part is we run to God at the last minute. Okay, I know you last minute folks. We run to God at the last minute say, oh Lord, I'm in a situation I don't even know. And let me tell you something, God ain't hearing you. Let me tell you, y'all got to listen to what I'm saying. Sometimes God does not hear many of us because God don't know you. He doesn't know you. Uh-huh. Yeah, I love you too, Felicia. God does not know you. Is your name in the book of life? That's the question. I'm asking that question today. Many of you say that I know God, but the question is, does God know you? And the only way you can know somebody is if you begin to spend time with that individual. How much time are you giving to God? Now, let me tell you something. Many of us are on the World Wide Web and we're giving all of this time to social media. That's right. Our finger has lost more weight than we've lost on our whole body. Come on now. Let's keep it 100. This finger right here has lost more weight. Many of y'all said short-term goals. You had long-term goals. And you said that by the year of 2020 or by the year 20, that I was going to lose 30 pounds. And you ain't lost a pound. You know why? Because you too busy on Facebook. I'm coming for y'all today. But I'm doing it in love. Let me tell you something. I want you to think about a web. You think about a be the beautification of a spider web. Okay? That web is attractive. Facebook is attractive, but Facebook is an idol God. You have to put limits on the time that you spend on Facebook. Because first thing when you get on Facebook, it asks you what's on your mind. But I come to tell you today that God wants to know what's on your mind. Because some of y'all are suffering right now and you can't tell nobody about it because you don't want nobody. You, first of all, you want people to think you got it all together when you know that you don't. You don't have it all together, baby. None of us have it all together. That's why I'm on here today, hallelujah, to talk to y'all about what you got going on in your lives. Many of you right now, what's going on, David Anderson? Hey, Danny. Many of you, good morning. Who is that, Nikki? How you doing? That's right, your finger skinny. You see Eric Britton right there? But how much time are you dedicating to God? This is serious this morning. We give energy and time to everything but the Savior, but the one who actually breathed life into our nostrils and calls us to breathe on a day-to-day -day basis, that give us grace, that gives us mercy. Even when we act out of character, even when we don't even give him no time, we don't even say thank you no more. I mean, it's, it's like we're taking God for granted. And I think this is what happened when God allowed the world to be reset. Everybody talking about God, you know, I want to be back normalized. Oh, no, 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 no. God's trying to get you to be normalized. He's trying to get you to understand without him, you ain't nobody. But many of us think that we, you know, we've arrived. And I'm going to tell you, you're not going to arrive until departure. Listen to what I'm saying. You got, you arrived here in 1976. And you may depart in 2030. So your destination is in the grave. Yeah, your destination ain't right here. I, I just need to help y'all because we got a lot of important people. You know, we, we want, oh God, Jesus, help me. Let me. I got to say this, I got to say this. For some reason, we have, we've thought within ourselves that we are actually somebody. And I'm not negating that you're not, but you are somebody through him. You got to give God the glory 
for what he has done in your life. This has been the problem with the world for so many years. This is why the pandemic had to come. So you can recognize who he is, not who you are. Because he made you not just for you, but for somebody else. That's why you're a mother or auntie. You're not just for you. You're an uncle. You're for somebody else. We're supposed to be helping one another, my black people and my white people and my brown people. God didn't place you on this earth just for you so you can get all the glory for yourself. We saw that with, I'm just saying, with Prince. We saw that with the king of pop. We saw that with the queen of, 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 of soul. And many of them now are resting in the grave. They can't give God a praise right now. You can't go and put an alarm system in the grave and expect somebody to get up. No, 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 no. If you are above the ground, then right now I am telling you that you got to give God more time than what you're doing right now. God is not pleased with what we've been doing. We, we don't even set a time, set aside time for him no more. We don't. But let me tell you, I do. I got up this morning before I came out here to get my run on. I prayed for every single last one of y'all before I got on here. No lie. I did that. Because I see many of you. I see many of your posts. And I had to even set discipline myself on Facebook. Social media is now running the world. And it's the truth. It's the reality of it. That This is what's going on. We're so caught up within our own selves, y'all. We're lovers of ourselves. We're boasting about what we do. God said, if you boast in anything, he said, boast in me. Boast about me. Take the focus off of you and put the focus on God. Let me tell you something. I may lose a few, a few people because I speak his truth. And I can tell you this because if you only knew my wilderness state, if you knew me before, I am too, I am who I am today. I promise you, you would say, Fanya, I know, I knew her. That girl right there, she did this, that, and the third. But when the Lord grabbed a hold of me, when I say he snatched me, some of y'all need to be snatched by God right now. And if you're dealing with mental anguish, I got to touch on this. If you're in a, in a, in a dark space and you, you're depressed right now, I'm telling you now that the Lord himself collects tears in a bottle. It may not be a literal bottle, my friend, but when King David was going through enemies and all type of insults and things was coming his way, he kept running to God. Do you want to know today why David was a man after God's own heart? Do you really want to know? Do y'all want that answer? Because even when he sinned with Bathsheba, he told God about it. Mm -hmm. When he cheated somebody, I'm just not parent. I'm just speaking. He told God about it. When he spent too much time on Facebook, he told God about it. When, when you laying over somebody else's husband, I'm going to say it. You somebody side chick. <laughs> you somebody mistress. You somebody mister. <laughs> you got to tell God about it. God, ain't, it's not, he hates the sin, but he loves you. But all you got to do is carry it to him. Many of us should be in a different place today than we were in 2020. If you don't vis if you haven't visualized yourself nowhere, you're not going to go nowhere. I'm telling you that right now. If you haven't been journaling and creating a vision board or just imagining yourself where you desire to be later on in life, you're not going to go nowhere. You will forever be on Facebook posting, angry, being messy, full of drama, checking folks. That's what you're going to do. I am encouraging each of you today, because this is Wellness Wednesday. I was just checking up on everybody to do something different. Dare to be different. Do something you've never done before. And for those dreamers that are still dreaming, your dream can become a reality if you just step out on faith. What is it that you wanted to do when you were such a young child? The reason why you can still do it because you got time. The grave ain't got no more time. People are dead. People dying on a day-to-day -day basis. What are you going to do with your life today? If it's weight loss, you see I'm out here, then you start running a day. Or you start doing, I don't care if it's a 10-minute exercise, you start today. I am going to challenge each of you today to check back in with me 
by next Wednesday. And it may just be something that I pre-record. But I'm going to check in with y'all to see what is it new that you had started this year. That you're going to complete and finish this year. I just want y'all to check in. Let me know what's going on. Hey, Hope. Hey. Hey, Nikki. Y'all be blessed. I know. I love y'all. My daughter on here. Derek Amphi. I want to call y'all out. Hey, Dunterio. Hey. Big ups to Dunterio right now. Um, Let me tell you something. Been singing all his life, but he just released his EP. You see what I'm saying? What are you going to release this year? That's the question. What are you going to give over to God this year? What is it you want God to handle? Oh, hallelujah. I feel that right now. What situation do you need God to handle right now? What is that burden that's out of your book? What is that burden that you need lifted off of your shoulders right now? What is that thing? That you no longer can control. You sick and tired of being sick and tired. As a matter of fact, you just can't take it no more. You throw your hands up and you say, you know what? For God, I live. And for God, I'm going to die. But I'm not going to let this one thing take me out. What is that thing that you're sick of? And it just might be that you're sick of yourself. And if that be the case, then I double dog dare you to go to God and say, I'm sick of me. What is it that you called me to do? And I promise you reveal it through people. People start talking about, you know what, Fayan, I see you being in movies, girl. You're supposed to have your own video. You, you suppo That's what you'll start hearing. Things will be lined up according to his will and his purpose. You will no longer be in his permissive will, but you will be in his divine will. That's what you want to be in life. In God's divine will. So I'm telling you right now, Whatever it is that you're going through, it ain't too big for God, baby. And then let me tell you this real quick. A friend of mine called me. She may be watching. She called me. She said, Fayana, I need to talk to you because I know you're spiritual. Hadn't heard from her in years. She was diagnosed with COVID. She ended up getting blood clots. And they cut her legs off. And she said to me, she said, Fayana, what am I to do? The only thing I could think about was her mindset because she went in there walking, but now she has to go out in a wheelchair. Come on now. I had to tell her that the, what the Bible said about your thoughts, about your mind, to think on those things, good things, noble things. I don't care what the doctors say that you would never be able to do. You are going to do it, whether you have legs, whether you don't have arms, because it's this right here. Your wealth is right here. Your, your, your the wealth, the, the, your, your, your revenue, everything that you're trying to have, you want to generate wealth, look within yourself. God has given you the necessary tools for you to use in order to get you where you want to be in life. That's why I'm on here right now. Because I know God gave me multiple talents. God is giving you gifts. He even said your gifts going to make room and put you before great people. God makes room for his children. Ain't nobody got to, let me tell you something. You ain't got to try to be what everybody wants you to be. You ain't got to try to do it in your own street. You ain't got to try to do it yourself. God going to make room for you. You ain't got to try. When I say he anointed King David, did nobody put him in a line up? They didn't even consider old David. David was scrawny. But do you know what David was doing? <laughs> writing poetry, writing songs, talking about how good God was. That's what he was doing. Tending to the sheep, busy about his father's business like Jesus. Yeah, that's what he was doing. Yeah. And because nobody considered him, God did. So all my friends out there that think that God has forgotten about you, I'm here to tell you today, God has not forgotten. God has not forgotten your tears. God has not forgotten the many years that you were struggling mentally. He ain't forgot about that. But you will continue to struggle mentally if you don't delve into that word and take out the scriptures that belong to you and the promises that belong to you and begin to chew on them like they are actual meat. Take Cut it in bite-sized pieces. I don't care if the word says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Many of y'all didn't even go back to college because you didn't believe that you could do it. You didn't think you could do math. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, yes, you do. You can learn again. Yes, you can do it again. Do a man fall how many times? Seven times to get back up. This is your year. If you didn't know this year was your year, I come to tell you today, this is your year. This is your time. This is your season. This is some of y'all harvest. Because baby, I know without a shout of doubt, it's my harvest. Do what I asked you to do. Do what I told y'all to do. Get back with me. You can inbox me. You ain't got to go live no more this year. But I guarantee many of you that are logged on today are going to reflect back on this video and say, Fiona, you were right. I wrote that book. <laughs> I wrote that poetry book. I went back to that family member. Yeah. I forgave my children. Oh, there it is. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. I went back to that co-worker. I apologized. I went back to God because he married to the backslider. So that means you got a covenant relationship with him. So you may as well come on back home. Tell him all about your troubles. Tell him everything. Include God this year. That's going to be your word today. Not just wellness checkup. Include God this year. That's going to be the word of today. We, hey, hey, I know that's right. Include God. Yes, my peace. Include God this year. That's all I want you to Yes, sir. That's all I want y'all to do. I'm going to say it one more time. Include God this year. Whatever you want him to do, let him help you do it this year. Y'all be blessed. Uh, I appreciate the love always. Y'all wanted me to go live and I just felt led to do it on today. Yes. Yes, sir. Y'all, uh-huh. I see. I Receive it, brother. Receive it, my brother. I hope I called everybody out because y'all have no, no idea how often I have to pray. Not just for me, but I'm praying for y'all. I'm serious. I'm serious. Because the enemy want to take us all out. And let me tell you, Eric, I see you, my brother. You saying, God, forgive me. It's nothing wrong with you saying, God, forgive me on here. But let me tell y'all something. Many of you, before I go, you get on Facebook with your prayers. Get off of Facebook with your prayers. And get in the face of God with your prayers. You tell God about it. And I promise you, it turned my truck off. That still small voice that you heard when you was a child, when you were driving down the street and you would hear, let me tell you how to hear from God. When you were going places that you had no business and you heard that voice say, don't go. Want to come before destruction. That's how you hear the very voice of God. When you in the bathroom and you got your rice on that's cooking and you hear a voice say, go turn the rice off. He was, let me tell you, oh God, God is so good that even when you're not paying attention, he's still paying attention to your attention that many of us have been seeking from men. You, let me tell you something, baby, you always been on God's mind. He been paying you attention while you was being woven in your mother's womb. I'm telling you, Cast down vain thoughts. That's what I hear. Cast down vain imagination. Cast down negativism. Cast down cynical thinking. Cast this down right now. And replace it with nothing but God's goodness that you're going to get out that word. Get into your word. Oh, God. Get into your word. If you don't do nothing else that I ask you to do this year... Get into your word and get to know God and do not lose your praise. Singers, don't, do, don't, don't lose your praise because that's your psychotherapy. Uh huh. It helps you get into the very presence of God. Many of you know what I'm talking about. If you can sing, if you can't sing. And to me, everybody can sing. You just have a little people that are a little bit fine tuned, but God looking at your heart anyway. But make sure, make sure you get into that word. Because that's going to get you through the rest of this year. Your relationship with God. If you don't maintain no relationship with nobody else on this earth, you better maintain your relationship with God. Because that's the most important relationship that you should have before anybody. Your husband, your wife, your children. It don't matter. Maintain your relationship with God. Yes, he does. Hey, Nikki. 
Angela! That's who had been asking me to go live, y'all. That's one of my aunties right there. So, um, I'm done for today. Y'all make sure you drink your water. Look. Drink your spring water. Drink at least two of these a day or one of these a day. I'm telling you, people dying left and right. I got to get off here. Lord knows I do. People are dying left and right. Don't be the cause of your own demise. I'm going to say that one more time before I go. Don't be the cause of your own demise. If you know you have health issues, if you know you're overweight, mm -hmm, yeah. If your slate is, if your stomach is overlapping, you know what I'm saying. Get out there and run. Get out there and walk. It's not about you being sexy this year either. Trust me, I done been there, done that. It's not about you being, it's about you being healthy this year. So you can do the things that God called you to do. You want to be energized? Meditate on his word. Mm -hmm. You want energy, you want strength? Exercise your muscles, your faith muscles. That means believing. Believing what God tells you. Trusting. Those are, those are your faith exercises. Trust and faith. That's what you do. Believe again. Those are your exercises. Spiritual exercises is what I call it. Praise and worship. See, everything is changed. And even when it get normalized, you will still be doing what you were supposed to be doing, what you were, be, what you were doing way back then. Y'all just got to grab a hold of who he is. That's all you got to do. And let him, let him, let, uh, let God, <clears throat> excuse me, let God fit, create you into the individual that he called you to be. Let him do it. You get out the way and let him do it. Y'all be blessed. I got to go. Y'all be blessed. I got to go. I was supposed to be doing, getting my run on. And now I got to go to this little mini meeting. So, um, yeah. Oh, yes, Hope. How you been, girl? Yes, 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 yes. Bless the Lord. Y'all bless God. Why I got to go? I done told y'all that 50 million times. But every time I hear something, I just want to give that out to y'all. Because I know how we are as a people. And even, let me tell y'all one more thing. One more thing that I need all of you to do. Check on somebody. Before I go, check on somebody. And I'm going to say this because I hear this too much. It's not about you and your foe, baby. <laughs> it's just about y'all. No, it's not. It's about everybody else. Somebody needs you. Somebody needs to hear from you. Somebody needs to know that, they, that you care for them. I'm telling you, many people right now, we are in dark places. We don't know whether we're going or coming. We're on the verge of suicide, yes. And I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. That spirit alone telling you what you're not and don't nobody love you no more. The devil is a liar. God loves you. Check on somebody. I got to go. <clears throat> love each of you. Hey, Dana. Hey, y'all. Yes, sister. Yes, I will, Nikki. And I think I called every one of you out. I did, Rodney, Aquarius, Donna, Craig Knight, Keith, Jared, Felicia, praying for y'all. Hey, New York City in the house. Hey, Keith. Yes, indeed. Desmond Lane, God bless him in the name of Jesus, God. Peace and blessings on every name that I've already spoken, God. Mo Mouth King, peace. I remember you, my brother. God bless you, Danny Otis. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Hallelujah, Dontario. May you do everything that the Lord has called you to do and more. In Jesus, hallelujah. In Jesus' holy and righteous name. Hi, Derek. God, hallelujah, God. Thank you, God, for Derek this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. As he goes to and fro, God, I ask that you protect him, God, and it kept angels about him. Hallelujah. For Don this morning, God, I bless your name for Don, God. Hallelujah, God, for everything that he touches, God. Let it be blessed, God. Everything he lays 
Jesus' hands to. In Jesus' name, God, let him be blessed. And I pray right now for my daughter, God, that is online. Jesus, hallelujah, God. I thank you for saving her soul, God. How do you all go see her? I thank you, God, that she's healed, God. Crown her with righteousness right now, God. I thank you, Lord, even that you strengthened me, God, when she had open heart surgery, God. But I thank you, God, that her purpose is far greater than the pain that she has been through. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I bless you for Felicia right now. She's such a blessing to many, God, people that enter into our lives, God. She gives her all, God. And I thank you, God, that she will get that back. Huh? It will be reciprocated every single time, God, in the name of Jesus, that she does something for somebody, God. I bless you for Eric, God. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for Eric this morning. Jesus. Eric, God. Jesus. 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 Heal his mind right now in the name of Jesus, God. I bless you right now for Eric, God, that he will learn to depend on you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. I bless you for Nikki Rogers, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Gentle and a quiet spirit, God. I hear you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. For Nikki, God. Let her rise up, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah for Donna, God. Hallelujah for Donna, God. Woman of God. Hallelujah. I see you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless her right now, God. Cover her house. In the name of Jesus, God, I bless you for hope right now. In the name of Jesus, healing. Jesus in a spine, God. Healing. Hope, God. Heal her right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for Darren A. Jefferson, God. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Melissa Burks, I thank you for watching this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Denise Jones. Hallelujah. I bless you right now, God. Cover right now in righteousness, God. Peace over her mind in the name of Jesus. I thank you for Lula right now, God. Bless her. Yes, God. Continue to trust God in all things, Lula Williams. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dana. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Do whatever it is that God, Dana D. Denietz. Whatever God called you to do, do it. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' holy and righteous name, do it. Do what it is that God called you to do. Maurice Davis, thank you. Hallelujah. 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 There's a praise upon your lips, my brother. Just say hallelujah. Hallelujah. God hears you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen and bless God.